Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer edition with myself, Northern Lion, and Arumba. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello! How's it going? It's good! Um, well, I think it's important to mention that you are looking at what's going to be the winding down of the Paradox mini-campaign, I guess. Um, we have Rajas of India coming out within, as of this recording, tomorrow. Um, yes. And we like to jump to the new stuff <laughs> to check it all out as soon as it's ready. That and I have a peasant war ripping me apart anyway, so I'm totally okay with it. It seems mm -hmm. like bad news, but it's actually good news because it means we'll actually come to blows and then start up a new series as well. But yep. I think we can we can all agree that the MIDI campaign went probably the best out of all of the Paradox stuff that we've done so far in terms yeah. of like entertainment and longevity and engagement. Yeah. It's just been bad for me the whole time. And yeah. we have definitely learned, though, that I'm going to stop taking weak starts against you two. <laughs> You're both uh, much better at the games now than you were in the beginning. I still think you should take the weakest start, but maybe not as weak as Brittany was at the well, start. Well, I don't even think it's like two. necessarily slapping him with a weak start. It's just no more strong starts <laughs> for us. True, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, we, we're all we kind of on an equal, equal playing field these days. I don't know if I'd go that far, Ruma. How many hours do you have in, uh, in EU4? Um, let's see, I've actually got Steam Community available. I only have 330. Okay. That's so, still like double what I have, so... Yeah. Alright, we're ready to go? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Holy crap! Also, slow down! <laughs> <laughs> My hours are less meaningful, because I just never learn anything, so... Beja has entered a military coalition against us. Well, that's worrisome. Well, that's what you get, Mathis, to yeah. be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my mm. character just died, apparently. Oh, that's like perfect timing. Please tell me you have a Regency Council. Ah, uh, no. No, I have a 31-year-old 444. All right, well, you could oh. have at least lied to me. Uh, I can pass up. Oh, hey, ah, successful bureaucracy. Thank God. Woo! I got a <laughs> tax modifier for a little while. That'll go well. Oh, I'm just very glad to hear that, Mathis. <laughs> up oh, and... My queen, Galician peasants have taken control of Cordoba. All right, I forgot that you have like all the problems. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, it's so bad. <laughs> you have like a real issue happening. Uh huh. Mm. You do indeed. Um, I'm thinking of maybe making some mercenaries. I guess it's all I really can do, but nothing else I can really. Hey, do. hey now, <laughs> what are you? What are you? Uh, what are you doing here? I, I just preemptively <laughs> broke my alliance with you. I see. I can see that, but why? I, it would, it's going to have to be done at some point anyway. Okay. So why not do it now, you know? Save myself the, the diplomatic cost later. Oh, God. I have so much money in, like, loans. I owe, like, a lot of money. <laughs> like, $700. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, very glad to, I'm very glad to hear that, Aruba. Oh, that's right. We were playing the whole um, fighting over Cardinals game. I remember that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just issued an embargo against you. I can see that. Yep. Okay. Why did you do that? Well, we, because uh, um, we, we, it's the final series here. Are you trying to take my money? I'm not trying to take your money. I'm I'm simply involving myself in some economic warfare. But I'm, we're not actually fighting each other. You have the colonialism just... cast a spell against me for some reason. Yeah, that's uh, because of our North African provinces, I guess, which is weird because they're not really colonies, but whatever, I guess. Apparently Castile just collapsed. Nice. Well, you know, if I know anything about Spain, it's that, you know, you can't be trusted to actually, like, hold land there. Land is uh, kind of a mercurial thing that passes through hands but never really belongs to anybody <laughs> for the oh, most part. Oh, God, so true. <clears throat> but we have shrines to the great lion in the north spread across the <laughs> lands. Your land is is meaningless to me now, though. <sighs> my, the, my, it's meaningless to me. How's oh, that peasants' war going? Exactly. It's a peasants' war. Yeah. I think Ed, Arumba was saying, and, and I agree, that that might be like my least favorite event in all of... Uh, EU4, because like the minus six stability, and then like all of your provinces having like a one in five chance to revolt every month is just nuts. Yeah, and it's not. I mean, it, if you have no admin power when it happens, like then me, you're really screwed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it, it it scales like based on the number of provinces you have. So I mean, when you're small, it's still really bad. But I was uh, playing a game as Russia, and I got a peasants' war, and I had like 
75 provinces, each one with like a 30% chance to revolt. So, you know, the, yeah. you can run the math on that one. People who are better at mental arithmetic than me, but that's a lot of uprisings every month. I just hired a million mercenaries, so we'll see how that goes. Peasants revolt everywhere. <clears throat> I am just, I'm just looking around. Well, isn't that a nice luxury to have, sir? <laughs> well, I'm like, Arumba, you got much larger than I, I thought you did. All of a sudden, we accept Italian, and we do not, no longer accept Berber. So all those people in Africa that have been living to us, like... Basically just, sorry. We I don't care about them anymore. I, I'd lose the <laughs> stability no matter what my choice. Yeah, oh, was the, it a comment? Uh, comments yeah. are pretty cool. I love oh. the, the event for it. That's just like... You know, do you want to lose the stability this way or lose the stability this way? Yeah. That was uh, Johan's idea of being funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. It is kind of funny, actually. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. All right, mm -hmm. I uh, I really don't even know what to do. I'm I'm gonna have to overbuild my force limit to even contest you. But it's uh, it's not gonna be not gonna be close. Die peasants! Well, the hope was that Mathis could come in on your side as well if we ended up fighting. But <laughs> die you know, peasants! I, I just yeah, exactly. I just looked at his uh. At his nation, and there's some problems with that idea. I'm almost at my naval force limit, actually, so... You know, it's possible you could contest me there. I doubt it. You're England. That's Well, actually, that's kind of offensive. I'm actually Great Britain. Yeah, you're 20, you're 20 heavy ships. Yeah, I'm going to contest that, sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about the other uh, 82 ships as well. Hmm. We're gonna come out of this, Galicia. We're gonna be I okay. mean, I don't know if you are, Mathis. Not not because you don't have the skills, but just because I don't know if you have the time. <laughs> Look, we're gonna come out of this. <laughs> the whole series has just been like, well, one day, <laughs> one day this land will be unified. <laughs> uh, if only I was the Aztec Empire. If only you hadn't declared war on me. <laughs> That time that you declared war on me for no reason. Shit, it's giving me Portugal, man. You should have given it to me. I did. I, I, I held to my word in EU4. I helped you win Portugal. But in not EU4. Some but you, exactly. screwed, you screwed us all over so badly in CK2. Oh, come on. Hashtag blame NL. Oh, come on now. Yeah, it's, you're not going to get us to stop blaming you for those things. It's, that's ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? Oh, here we go. Yeah, what's, what's ridiculous? But I have all these peasants and somehow... I still can fight them. During this, yeah. 24 peasant regiments rise up and end. Okay, well, you know, whatever. 24 peasant regiments. Yeah. I can't really do much about that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. All right, that is, I have 48, 50, 62, 69 regiments of peasants in my country. It's just perfect, isn't it? I think that's 69. I probably did the math wrong, but. Nah, if you got to that number, your math is always right. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't fight them. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> okay. Anybody have any spare diplomacy power they can just send to me? <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, lose. Okay, good. Just lose 50 diplo power. Good. You didn't need it anyway for what you were doing. Yeah, no stabilization or anything necessary. Oh, uh, that's admin power. Oh, Sorry. Geez. There's like no one. There's no one I can turn to to actually have a power anything against you. <clears throat> <laughs> it's just not fair. Well, I just, I just hit you with a... Um... Uh, I see that. So I, I can, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get you to declare war so that I can call my allies in with better odds, I think. Yeah, no. Hey, I don't even think I'm an ally with uh, Mathis right now. Hey, hey Mathis, do you want to... Mm. I, I can't. Apparently, I have a negative opinion of you. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you dishonored well, an alliance. Yeah, you, you guys went to war, sort of. Like a, a hands-off war. You need to improve relations with me so that someday we can be friends again. I really don't like how that works in this game. Like, it says that uh, my opinion of other players is entirely up to me, but it's not. All right, I sent, I sent yeah. a, merc uh, a missionary, whatever his <clears> name <throat> is, over. A diplomat? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> okay. He's, that's, uh, that's he's working on it. All my right. queen. Tank Portuguese up. nationalists have riven up in para. All right. You should just release Portugal as a vassal, uh, Mathis. No. <laughs> and then, yeah, because when you do that, anybody could come over and just take it over. 
Not happening. I'll just I'll go down with this sinking ship, sir. Actually, I don't think Portugal exists in our game. I think we've been over this like twelve times, <laughs> but I always forget. <clears throat> How's my overextension going? Almost done. I'm almost under a hundred percent. Hmm. Hmm. We have, we've lost the siege of Almera. <clears throat> ah, Barcelona has been cored. Hooray! Bar, 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 bar. I'd love to go fight these guys. I just don't think it'll work out so well in my favor. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she said. Is that? <laughs> it's not really a glowing <laughs> endorsement, I would say. <laughs> I mean, that's I guess true. so. Ah, mm -hmm. stability is only at a minus two now, everybody. Uh, the that's main thing, good. if you want to get rid of the peasants war, you got to get up to positive one. I okay, well, I don't have the admin power. I'm only garnering seven a month. Well, stop being so bad. I'm trying. <laughs> I've been trying this whole time, and I've been failing. Hmm. Matt is bad. No. I, 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 Matt, for. Northern Lion, I see that you have 61 regiments on my border. I'm not happy about mm. it, by the way. No, they're, they're just patrolling. Uh-huh. I want to go fight this army of peasants, but I don't know what their technology is. They're just patrolling. Stop fabricating claims on my house. I can't control all of my diplomats, okay? Yes, you can. <laughs> if they want if they want to fabricate claims, they're acting outside of the designs of the state, and I can't be expected to babysit all these people. Mm-hmm. These guys if I accept their demands, I just get less in taxes. Think it's worth it? Um, I don't know. What what are your odds of fighting off the like one hundred regiments in Galicia right now? Not very high. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm proud enough. <clears throat> Have lack of the pride. But, well, I see your people rising up against me, Arumba. I am I just I am just positioning my men in a place that makes sense to defend against you. This is ridiculous. This is how it happens. Anybody you come fight are the one. Fa you're fabricating a claim on me. Anybody this is how we end up with like a DMZ situation. You know, part of international rela relations is having trust of you the guys, states to actually like interact with you one guys another. Are going to have the neutral zone over here? We do. You know, limousine and and Barry are basically the. It's the new DMZ. Anybody want to come fight my peasants for me? No, man. This nobody <laughs> wants to fight your peasants for you. <laughs> They've got sharp objects. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Well, better make sure I take my next economic idea. That'll really help me out. No, it won't. I really think you actually, should not. Actually, it did, because I got plus 10 discipline, I just noticed. Yeah. Lucky me. Eh, eh. eh it's pretty good. Pretty good leaders there on the, the side of a Roomba. I've noticed. You need to stop I'm looking joking. at what I'm doing and start focusing on <laughs> the Inca or something. How's that sound? No, it, I mean, I normally I would, but since we're coming to the end of the series, this is just the the mutually agreed upon way that it has to go. I don't I don't think that that's what it was. I think we talked about how it was supposed to be you you've accepted peasants. Huh. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be you releasing half of your men to match mm. our armies, and then we would that, go to war. Instead, you're that just putting... hardly seems fair. You're putting more men in, like, a single stack than what I can even muster. Anyone want to come take care of these fair. Aztec nationalists? Not really. Just, just swear fealty, Mattis. <laughs> I don't know if I can. <laughs> I will. Where the heck are my diplomats? I wish that was oh. something I could do. Like, hey, you know, I just want to join you. Is that all right? And then take over for them. I'll run the country for them. Man, this guy is like super slow at fabricating a claim wherever he's fabricating a claim. I, I take forever. Are you seriously trying to like use that as an excuse to attack me? That's your plan? I don't know what you're talking about. Quite frankly, I'm a little offended that you would even suggest it. I mean, you're actually waiting for that? Yeah, and I don't want I want to make sure that it's justified in the in the law. You uh, already have the international you have cast a spell already. Yeah, but they're for like overseas colonies. I don't want that. Over no. straits colonies, anyway. 
I you know, see. I'm losing money on a on a monthly basis here. You I might hope so. Be able to bankrupt me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe anything that you say. I think it's just a bunch of hogwash. I'm making wow. Money. Seventy. Please. You're making sixty-nine ducats a month. You want to know how yeah. much I'm making? Forty. Forty. Okay. Yeah. So you got me beat by seventy-five percent, roughly. Yeah, but my costs are so high, you know. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I just don't. Sh I just don't believe you. <laughs> That's probably fair. You gotta allow me to relish this position for once in this like overarching series thing that we've been doing for paradox stuff. Yeah. I've never really found myself in a position of power, so. I'm being kind of a douche about it, but I, I kind of like that as well. I'm going to I'm fight. Okay. 13 versus 24. Wish me luck. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> I'm actually winning. I don't know how that's happening. Well, I mean, it depends where, where they're peasants from, I guess. True. Yeah, you even have like a negative modifier for the river crossing. It's a long fight. Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's not going so well now. <clears throat> the other thing is, I thought, you know, I would let the diplomat keep doing what he's doing so that, uh, you know, you have you have some time to prepare. Otherwise, oh. that just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Otherwise, it just wouldn't really be fair. Yep. I agree. You know, you only have, um... You're tied for me. Tied with me for the Curia right now. So if yeah. one of your guys dies, then you might lose control. If only you is could that... assassinate... Is that a problem? If I, <laughs> it's, I think it's, the Curia relies on me more than I rely on the Curia now. Mm, yeah, you're, you're right. What's your? Uh, think, you can't be excommunicated though. No, god damn it. This is I don't not... think I can be excommunicated either. Damn it! Accept their demands. Be gone. Oh god. Accept all demands. Be gone. They get local autonomy, whatever the fuck that means. But have it. Just have it. Argonese nationalists, you have 22 regiments in Barcelona. I know, I can't do anything <laughs> about it. That's, that's almost as many troops as I have. All together. <clears throat> I'm still sad. making money, so that's fine, I accept. Mm, yeah, okay. Oop, yeah, oh, sure, that's fine. I'm not very good at setting, like, naval patrol routes. Or anything involved with the Navy at all, basically. In any strategy game ever made. <laughs> <clears throat> Arumba, my, uh, my claim has been fabricated. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. I hate to do this, but it, it has begun. What has begun? It should make you oh, feel the arms. good. I'm not going to war. <laughs> it should make you feel good, though, that none of my allies accepted the call. So I can't. I, I mean, I'm already in negative prestige as it is. <clears throat> you decline, we lose 25 prestige. God damn it! Why'd you call me into this shit? Just All right, for I'm gonna accept, and then I'm gonna peace out. Okay. How many oh, people God. joined in on your side? Ah, oh, like a lot. A lot of people. I concede defeat, sir. Win. <clears throat> Fine. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I avoided prestige loss. Naturally, we're going to get smashed because you're on level 12 military tech. And I'm Ooh, on level 11, know. which is huge. It's so huge. I hate you. I hate you and your big dumb army. This is a very close battle here. For a while, at least. Guys, I'm only at negative one prestige right now. <clears throat> Coming out of this peasant's war. <laughs> Gonna happen. I, I wish my guys would shoot more and reload less. Alright. What, what makes me nervous is that you have so many allies that can come in. And I think that they might be able to, like... I don't know, just kind of whittle me down. I hope we'll so. See. I've, I've never actually gotten into like a direct conflict, I think, with you before. And if I did, I just surrendered it right away. So I'm, I'm intimidated a little bit. 
Oh, geez. You are in such a good position, there's nothing for you to worry about. Well, I believe that, but don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know. The fact that you're at level 12 military tech is more significant than I think you realize. You would, you would be amazed at the, the caliber of my ability to throw, though. <laughs> it's a good cliffhanger for the end of an episode, anyway. Sure is. Mathis. Yeah, oh, oh, hey, I brought this one in. Sorry, yeah, all right, <laughs> good, sorry. I was very en entertained by my peasant war. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. As we wind down this Paradox mini campaign, there's a lot of excitement ahead, so make sure you're back tomorrow to see what ends up happening between the War of Northern Lion and Arumba and me and the peasants. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Later. See you soon.